the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 284, Matthew 11 to 13. If you take Jesus' yoke, Jesus' parables contained the deep wisdom and truth about the kingdom of God. First point, the appearance of John the Baptist was the fulfillment of God's words spoken through Isaiah and Malachi. 400 years after the prophet Malachi prophesied, John the Baptist, whom both Isaiah and Malachi had prophesied, came into sin. John the Baptist came and proclaimed the kingdom of God and told the people to repent. The people had not heard God's message for the past 400 years, and so when the people heard, they had the heart to repent. John the Baptist came into sin prior to Jesus' public life, and he made the way for Jesus. However, John the Baptist was put into prison, and afterwards, Jesus started to proclaim the kingdom of God. John sent his disciples to Jesus to ask a question. John had heard of what Jesus was doing whilst he was locked in prison. When John asked through his disciples whether Jesus was indeed the Messiah, Jesus gave an answer. Jesus referenced the words of the prophet Isaiah and thereby changed the perception of what John had in mind of the Messiah. As declared by Isaiah, Jesus the Messiah killed the person who could not work as well as the man with leprosy and also the man who could not hear. Jesus also spread God's words to the poor, so that Jesus' disciples would not misunderstand John the Baptist. Jesus introduced John as the Elijah of this generation. Jesus explained that John was the prophet, pre-warned by the prophet Malachi. Second point. Jesus' disciples took on Jesus' yoke and ultimately became apostles. There were religious leaders at the time that, despite hearing John the Baptist's warning to repent and Jesus' message, had many things to say about Jesus. Thus, Jesus rebuked the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. Jesus also rebuked those who did not repent even after seeing Jesus perform many wonders. Jesus used the words that were spoken by Isaiah. The reason Jesus used these words was because the people refused to believe, despite seeing all the symbols and signs. Oppositely to those who believed and had faith, Jesus invited them to come to him. Jesus told them, to let go of the heavy yoke of the world and the last by him. This was because Jesus' yoke was easy and light. When the Jews heard the word yoke, they immediately thought of Jeremiah's yoke. In fact, the first mention of the yoke was by Rehoboam, the son of Solomon. After that, Jeremiah had spoken of the wooden yoke and the iron yoke. Upon these words of Jeremiah, Jesus spoke of his yoke. During the three years of Jesus' public life, the people who were with him were able to enjoy his lighter yoke. And then after Jesus' death, his disciples carried on his mission for the next 30 years. Third point, Jesus declared that the Lord of the Sabbath, which God made during creation, was Jesus himself. When the Jews heard the teachings of Jesus, they were moved and started following him. However, this spurred jealousy from the religious leaders, such as the Sadducees, Pharisees, and the teachers of the laws. 
Thus, they started to ask Jesus a trick question concerning Sabbath. In response, Jesus brought up the incident of David and his men and rebuked those who questioned. At the time, David was running away from Saul and had asked for food in the house of a priest Ahimelech. Jesus continued to refer to the words written in Deuteronomy and declared that he was bigger than the temple. Jesus pointed out that those who rebuked Jesus did more work during Sabbath. Jesus went one step further and reported to the records written in Hosea. The concept of Sabbath was made when God created the universe. And then during the days of Moses, keeping Sabbath became the laws of the kingdom of priests. Ultimately, Jesus declared that he was the Lord of the Sabbath. These people, however, came to rebuke Jesus later, when Jesus healed the sick during Sabbath. This led to the Pharisees ultimately deciding to kill Jesus. To this, Jesus also rebuked their hypocrisy. Fourth point, Jesus claimed that he was bigger than the prophet Jonah, and then warned about the cross and his death. The attack from the teachers of the law and the Pharisees grew worse. One day, they asked Jesus for a sign and to that. Jesus declared that Jonah's miracle was enough of a sign that signified the cross and his resurrection. At that point, Jesus' brothers came to find him. It was here that Jesus taught the people about the concept of family in the kingdom of God. Fifth point, Matthew recorded all seven metaphors Jesus used to explain the kingdom of God. Matthew recorded all seven metaphors spoken by Jesus to explain the kingdom of God. Jesus frequently used the metaphors in order to explain concepts. Within the three years, Jesus proclaimed the kingdom of God. All those who listened, including children, were able to learn and understand. Jesus used the parable of the sower, weeds, mustard seeds, yeast, hidden treasure, pearl, and net. Right on, Jesus taught in his hometown, but there were those who excluded Jesus. Because of this, Jesus referred to the time Jeremiah also spoke in his hometown. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tom Dog app.